So we're going to take that 16th note, which is like 1 E and a, 2 E and a, and so on, and we're going to be extracting notes away from that original four beats. And we're just going to take various notes away to create other rhythms. And we can play those rhythms on the hi-hat, on the snare drum, on the bass drum. They can become sort of upside down, topsy-turvy rhythms. Let me show you one. So we're going to start with quavers on the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and. Now normally I'd be playing the bass on one and three and the snare on two and four, like this. One, two, three, four. Now obviously I could play many of the bass drum lines and many of the snare lines, but we're just keeping it nice and simple, just for now, because there's a lot to get through today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to displace the bass and the snare just by one beat. So instead of playing on one, two, three, four, I'm going to be playing on the ands. And, 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 and. So the tempo remains the same, but the emphasis is on a different part of the beat. So it'll be like this. One, two, three, four. One. Now, if I play one bar in our regular time and then the other bar in our flipped around upside down bar, we suddenly get two really interesting sounding rhythms that can work together. Same information, but we're just nudging it along. That sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Try that just a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Now you can do that with any, any rhythm. And if you write drum music, you can actually write out the quavers, one and two and three and four and on the stave of the music. And then you can start to mess about with, with the pen, or if you're doing it on a laptop, start messing about on Sibelius or something. Start messing about where the snare drum beats go and the bass drums go. Because all these spaces are other places where these rhythms can live. Now, I'm not suggesting the next sort of wedding gig you do, you play every song like this, because you'll be fired, <laughs> and rightly so. Um, it's no good you saying, oh, yeah, man, but I'm just flipping it all around. Uh, that's not going to cut it. So um, make sure this is like a tool that you have in your armory and you use it when necessary. But if you're writing original music, you'll probably find that this idea of looking at the beat a little differently may inspire you to come up with some different lines. So. What I'm going to play now is a straight ahead groove for a few bars, and then I'm going to stay in that 4-4. Four, four. You can still feel that 1, 2, 3, 4. But I'm just going to move the emphasis of where the strokes go. OK, here we go. Check this out. 1, 2, 3, 4. 